We're going to talk today about the, uh, the new needle that we're using for the Van Gogh. You can see this is the old needle here, the ballet needle. The new needle is um, right here. We're going to remove the cap. You can see it's a lot different. We'll focus in. At the very tip of the needle is the only conducting portion of the needle. The rest of it's insulated. And what this does, it, it helps prevent uh, s skin problems from occurring because you're actually putting the needle into the vein. The rest of the needle is insulated so you do not conduct any heat to the uh, skin itself. All the heat is conducted through this very tiny distal portion, two and a half millimeter portion of the needle. This is directly inserted into the vein. As the vein goes fires, you just inject this, you just insert this needle into the vein. And actually, the needle is all subcutaneous for the most part. And so you don't really affecting the surrounding skin. So it's a very minimal amount of damage that's done to the surrounding area. You can see this is the needle. It's got a nice hub on it and a long connecting piece. And we're going to actually show you how to use it in just a minute. But uh, first I want to show you how you hook it to the machine and the settings we use. These are the settings that we use. 5% power. We use three pulses. And we actually use the auto pulse. We'll turn that on in a little bit. And we actually do the procedure and show you. But these are the settings we use. 5% power. You rarely ever have to go above that with this needle. This needle allows you to use minimal amount of power compared to the ballet needle where more power was needed uh, to affect damage. And with the old needle, you actually uh, had a lot of skin uh, stigmata with tracking that you do not have with the uh, new needle. Now I'm going to do these uh, veins on the lateral aspect of the leg here, you can see. We're going to use the vein go. I'm going to show you the technique here in just a second. We apply ice just for about uh, five seconds, and then you'll see how I uh, actually do the procedure. See, we're going to do this area right here. Apply ice for about five seconds. This just cools down the skin, makes it a little bit more comfortable. When you actually do this procedure, you place the needle perpendicularly. As it, as it fires, you insert it. Now these are more superficial, so you really don't have to worry too much about getting deeper. The needle's barely in here. These are so these are probably about 200 microns deep. But you can see nice fading. And I see this little area of puckering by the needle. I put ice on a little bit longer. This just cools down the skin a little bit more. Stretch the skin a little bit to see the veins nicely. The whole needle is not inserted in this case. You don't need to. It's not that deep. If you have a vein that doesn't clear, you can leave it in there to let it fire a little bit longer. You can see nice resolution here. Okay. This is about 10 minutes post uh, Van Gogh and you can see that there's good resolution of the veins now. There's some redness which is present. Um, all skin sequelae usually fade away in about two weeks. We see very little tracking with this device now that the new needles uh, being used. But we can, you can scan in here you can see that uh, there are no really no visible varicosities or spider varicosities anymore. Uh, so this is an excellent result.